Next at 6, continuing coverage of the plan that will eventually turn the Overture Center into a nonprofit effective next year. Mayor Paul Soglin is predicting Overture will, quote, crash and burn under a plan passed by the city council last December. Soglin says that plan needs to be shelved. News 3's Mark Lovacott has more on why he says a comprehensive study of the arts is a must. But we had an opportunity to correct it last winter, and, and again, we failed. It's no secret that Mayor Paul Soglin, even before he was mayor, was never a fan of the plan to turn the Overture Center over to a nonprofit to own and operate. While he has been vocal about it, he's never been this critical. I'm very fearful that as we go through this fifth crisis for Overture, that this time it will be virtually impossible to save the facility as a performing arts center. And Soglin stands by his prediction that Overture will, quote, crash and burn. I can't understand the, the, the reason for the mayor's comments. I, I think that they're, you know, very detrimental to the success of the organization. Alder Mark Clear helped broker the deal that was approved last year. He says it's the best option to keep Overture open and alive. He worries the mayor's comments now will help kill Overture. There's a high potential. Uh, that that, you know, could be enough to, to make it very difficult for the institution to continue. Soglin doesn't buy that, and he says for the institution to continue and be successful, a comprehensive study needs to be done to address all of the arts in Madison, not just Overture. He'll introduce his plan to the council next month. This is what's normally done when a community embarks on a project for a performing arts center. We've never done it. Council members argue that there have been studies done on Overture and Madison Arts, but Soglin says they were inaccurate, and there's never been a comprehensive study looking at the needs of all of arts and facilities in Madison, including performance groups, artists, promoters, even audiences. He will ask for that study next month. In the meantime, he says he hopes the transition plan is put on hold until that study is complete. All right, thank you. Mark Lovacott reporting tonight.